guys, welcome to day four. So we are off on our tour this morning. We are off to Soyer um, on a catamaran as well, aren't we? Yeah, thank you. On a catamaran and uh, off to a uh, monastery. So um, yeah, looking forward to all of that. They're picking us up in a little bit. We're just going to go down and get some breakfast. But yeah, let's see what today's adventures can bring us. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to uh, like, comment and subscribe. We've got a couple more days still to go. Um, and yeah, day four. If you're starting here, what are you doing here? Come back. There's, there's three days before this. Um, uh, have a great day with us, guys, and let's see what we can find. Bye.
right there, love. No! Alright guys, so we just made it into Port de Sawyer. Uh, we've only got 40 minutes here before we've got to get on the catamaran. Um, so we are darting about quick because we've been here before, but it is beautiful. So a few photos um, and hopefully a souvenir that we didn't get to pick up last time because it was a tile and it was really heavy. Um, so fingers crossed we can find that place, uh, but we're going to dart about quick and show you guys as much as we can, uh, as quickly as we can. Alright guys, this is where it splits, you can carry on left and that'll take you around um, by the water side all the way around or you can go up and to La Lupa's lovely restaurant, thoroughly recommend it, just up here, you see it straight ahead on the corner but yeah, there's loads of places to eat and drink here so um, kind of hoping the tile shop's not actually going to be open then we've got an excuse to come back here and stay one day, maybe next year if the uh, wife allows it on the front, cart door, um, it was 250? Yeah, 2 euro 50. 2 euro 50, can't complain. Um, so we are off to get our catamaran. We were told catamaran number 9, 12 o'clock. It's 11.40, catamaran 9 has already left the harbour. Mm, this could be fun. So we just arrived in Sakalabra, so we're just gonna have a look around something to eat now. Um, we didn't buy the tour where it came with food. I think that was like for 20, 20 euros, was it? This was only 80 euros with the train, the boat, the tram, and everything. So um, yeah, we're just gonna hunt around and try and find our own stuff. So uh, yeah, join us. Alright, Tim, so this is Hotel Sakalabra. It's a self service place where you come in to grab your bits and bobs. And then there was salad there, and rolls, and cake, and then the hot food, and then the fruit, a few more little foods, sangria, drinks, and don't forget to pay the lady. Another place up here, Bristol Mar. Seems all of them, I think, guessing with the 
tours and people don't get much time but they're all just like self-service mainly I think that's the fifth one that's uh, self-service but yeah they're just huge places Uh, showers and stuff to pay for as well and toilets huh. even an AED it's got UV indicators tell you how bad it's going to be today sure thing. and an AED up there as well impressive Is that much yours? I thought it was 50 cents, I don't know what it's called. Oh, thanks. There you go, dog. Now out of the pirate cave. This place is spectacular. So the beach is just off there to the left. We're just going to go up here where the uh, river normally is. And there are people coming down that way. You know, braver than us today. I'm in flip flops. All right, that's the canyon. That one comes through. There's the wife. That's what's left of the stream. And that's where it cut through and made the beach. So we'll pop over there just quick. It's absolutely packed today because uh, quite a few boats have come in. But let's get over there and see what we can see. this is one of the reasons we set this channel up I would have much rather have grabbed a hand baguette and taken it in the polystyrene wrapping or whatever it came in cling film and taken it to that beach and sat there and eat yeah with a can of beer with a can of beer um, but we didn't know we didn't know the beach was there um, but yeah no insight hope that helps you guys but we only had 40 minutes here so we've just been darting about now like usual. Like, yeah, like usual. We do this so you don't have to. You can come more prepared. <laughs> uh, but we couldn't find any vlogs about this tour um, in this day out, which is one of the reasons we wanted to come out here. So yeah, that would be our tip, is to get off the boat as soon as you can, get as much food, whatever you want, as soon as you can to go and jump around to that beach, because that, that is a not to miss. It is beautiful there. I oh, can't wait.
gone. So Bob from the church got up and started trying to find this black statue who had stolen it and it had returned back to its original place where it was found. So they picked it up again, put it back in the church, and the next day same thing. And that happened four times and in the end they eventually settled on the fact that the statue belonged here and they moved everything here and built the monastery that you see behind us and that's where the black statue is that we've uh, just shown you. But yeah, that's the story behind it.